Hello again. This is Mark Summers from Summers Technical Services. Uh, we're going to continue on with our butterfly valve assembly. We've already made the drawings. Excuse me, we've already made the models, part models, and created an assembly model with all the uh, design library fasteners, nuts, and screws, and the little woodruff key. So now we're going to do an exploded view and uh, then create an assembly drawing. So part one will be doing the exploded view. So this is going to be done inside the assembly model. We're going to move from the feature manager to the configuration manager that's going to allow us to create a different configuration. In this case, it's going to be a configuration of an exploded view. So let's get started. So here's our model and it's at the uh, constraints already in there to control the movement of our uh, little paddle valve, paddle plate. And so we're going to go tab over to the uh, configuration manager, feature manager where we've been living up to this point. We're going to configuration manager and see that there's a default configuration that uh, comes with uh, your first assembly. It matches the assembly, basically. And we're going to make a new configuration. So we're on the configuration manager. And we're just going to hit the exploded view button and we get this nice dialog box. So we've got different steps we can create one at a time and we're going to do it in an order that makes logical sense. And so what I'm going to do is do the first step. I'm going to start grabbing components and I want to basically pull everything out except the uh, body. It's going to stay stationary. So I'm going to grab the plate, those two screws, the retainer, those three screws and the arm and the nut and the shaft. I guess the only thing I'm missing now is a woodruff key, so let's go find it. And so now there's all that, and once I select the components I want in the exploded step, I just drag the components based on these XYZ coordinates. So I just click and hold and drag these things out here. And I'll drag them out so that the shaft is at a good looking spot there. I'll stop there. Now I'm not going to say, I'm not going to improve it yet because I want to continue to add explode steps. So I'm going to say done. And then maybe now I'll pull these two screws off and the plate off of the shaft. So explode, sh explode step two will be this part, and this part, and this part. And you'll notice it's got a, still an XYZ coordinates. So I need to change, uh, I want to rotate about the origin. So now that uh, coordinate system is rotated based on the orientation of that screw. And now I'm going to pull these out this way. And again, I'm not going to approve it. I'm going to say done with that step and then do one more step with the two screws to pull them away from the plate. And I'll again turn on that to get that origin uh, rotated to the screw. And I'll pull those two out some distance. I can change these value, values later. And so I'm going to uh, say done on that step. And then now maybe I want to pull these other components out to uh, match our picture we've got. And so I'm going to grab the nut and the arm and the uh, retainer plate and these, two, these three screws. And I'm going to leave the uh, Woodruff key behind. I'm going to pull that out separately. So that origin there is set like I want. So I'll pull those out this way, some amount. And then I'll say done with that step. And you can, can see I've got continuing, I'm continuing to add steps to my exploded view. And now maybe I'll grab my uh, nut and the arm, and pull those out, and then say done on that, and then finally pull the nut away. And say done. And maybe the last step I'll pull last two steps maybe I'll pull these three screws out and say done and then maybe the last one will be this woodruff key 
and I will is it oriented the way I want? I don't think so. I want to orient it this way so it pulls straight out and I'll pull him out this way and then I'll say done and now I'll say OK to approve it. So now I've created my exploded view and whatever it's set to in the uh, configuration manager when I go back to the feature manager it's going to be the same configuration so if I ever want to go back and I can double click that and unactivate it or deactivate it and now my assembly is back like it was before. So now that I've got the exploded view done it looks relatively nice I can start adding uh, I can start I can edit these steps and I can reorder them and if I don't like the distances on these things like if I want to pull this further away I can find that exploded step which is right here and I can edit that right click edit explode step maybe you want to make that come out two inches so that updates as soon as I say done so you can update those dimensions uh, if you pull them and they don't quite look right the other thing that's kind of fun to do is you can right click and animate collapse and it'll automatically uh, rebuild the assembly in the order in which you, the reverse order in which you uh, exploded it. And again, if you don't like what you ended up with, you can reorder those. You can also save this as an AVI file, which is kind of fun. You can send that to your family and friends and show them how you can make exploded views. And they don't need to have SOLIDWORKS, they just need to have a video viewer that can play AVI files. So I want to get out of this thing. And the last thing I'll show you is you need to we need to put some uh, uh, exploded I call them trails SolidWorks calls them exploded line sketches so you're going to want to show some trace lines to show where these uh, parts assemble back to the assembly so I'll do a couple of them here you can do the rest of them so if I insert I go to exploded view use the pull down explode line sketch and pretty much you just start with a circular feature and you click the arrow to make it go the way you want the exploded line to go so I flip that arrow the other way and then I find where I want it to go to I want it to go to this circle right here so pretty much you send these exploded line sketches from circles to circles and just do them one at a time so you do one for that screw there maybe do for one for this screw I'll go here and it's guessing the wrong way so I'll flip it and then I'll select this circle here and I think you get the idea so you can continue that until all of the screws fall back together and uh, you'll probably want to have one that goes from uh, where am I at here assembly exploded view So I'm still an exploded line sketch, I guess. So I'll go from this circle. Maybe I'm not. Uh, exploded view, exploded line sketch. I can go back. Why well, I got deactivated? Okay, here we go. So when you want to get back in to do more of these uh, exploded line sketches, just use that command. Pull it down. Here's a circle that's going the right way this time and then I can make it go all the way to here so it just travels through all those parts that's what I want <laughs> alright so you get the idea you can do the rest of those lines and then we can uh, use this exploded view on our assembly so that'll be part of the next video we do so until then uh, we'll see you in the next video